first of all uh, thank you all the resource persons for the wonderful sessions that we have attended for the last very very in depth uh, we have got a very in depth knowledge about the understanding capacity i think i feel that the capacity understanding capacity is increased too much for last three days i feel so that because all the sessions are very very uh, very much useful to all the participants i think so voice uh, nice so usha kumari ji can you focus on your takeaways and your this one yeah uh, actually as far as as while doing the assignment also uh, the first question itself uh, shall i continue sir yeah you, you can continue briefly so, so everybody can you know more okay, people okay definitely can discuss yes. uh, actually the main issue in almost all families in our society is also that uh, the people are yeah, not please focus people. on yourself that would yeah. be good you know okay if i am yeah. having the, i understand the yeah. feeling of relationship clearly i can ensure the feeling of relationship in my own self similarly i have to share with others that leads to mutual happiness that is very very important i think so very true very true yeah. mm. then uh, uh, natural based on how much we are able to refer our our own natural acceptance my own natural acceptance i am able to refer my own natural acceptance too much that is very very important that also then i will get uh, genuine answers from my own self that is that sir thank you sir didi didi nice didi and uh, uh, professor dr sunil kumar ji yeah before we go to sunil kumar ji i sorry i was meeting please please, please bhai i was please. asking usha kumar ji about this point number c yeah Point this is an important point for you, <laughs> uh, all of us. But you know, since you have been so uh, diligently three. exploring, <laughs> you point would be able to say something. Yeah. Point number three, sir. Yeah, C. Point C. C. At the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Uh, okay. About your imagination and about the feeling. yeah i feel that i almost all the time i am able to observe my imagination without reaction that is very very important as far as i am concerned and i am evaluating my imagination feeling with natural acceptance i i feel that almost all the time it is in line with the natural acceptance which leads to harmony in me almost in irrespective of the incidences or what happened in outside world i am oh. able to most of the time very nice. days very that is very very important as far as i am concerned sir so thank you thank you nice. sir <laughs> thank you for sharing that yeah, yeah. now manisha ji you please yeah. go ahead now yeah. ji ji yeah uh dr sunil kumar ji yeah good morning ji. everyone so good morning. morning ji good morning so yesterday's session it was uh, essentially focused on harmony in the family all those nine distinct feelings were discussed in detail and uh, i'm sure everyone has more insight into what are those feelings and what are the implications of those feelings in with regard to the natural acceptance with regard to our right understanding etc etc all those questions which were given in the assignments the six questions in section a were thought provoking many of those questions were actually uh, discussed with the students during the sip either during the sip or during the uhp2 programs in the institutions especially the one like uh, many people are happy by seeing others unhappy how do we relate to such people because number 2 if someone you rely on believe in uh, uh, believe in breaks you got trust etc and it was number 3 the first three questions are in fact related to the competence of uh, uh, ourselves as well as the other person so if we are competent enough we think like that that we can help improving the competence of others and if the other is uh, competent enough then we can help we can seek help from others to improve our own competence so that is uh, in in a natural the the reply to maybe the response to the first uh, three questions in in uh, say in brief the others are just like we have discussed all, all those questions in the uh, yesterday's class meetings themselves yeah with regard to the other examples of otherwise evaluation what is the difference between affection and love 
uh, affection is one to one and love is one to many related to each other those things and uh, now specifically with regard to uh, the assignment section c observations on the feelings of uh, our imagination find out that the feelings you have in your imagination is naturally acceptable to you or not yeah this is an excellent question and that uh, in fact i spend uh, say 20 minutes or more than that upon that question alone explored uh, something and uh, finally i could come up with a response like uh, what is uh, following some of the feelings in my imagination were not mutually accept naturally acceptable to me in the past uh -huh. like uh, anger hate jealousy prejudice and some of the preconditions they were kind of examples but after attending the introductory program and the refresher workshops of the uhp and after conducting the sip as well as uhp2 to the students i could self explore deeper and realize that the feelings like anger hate jealousy etc lead to competitions confrontations fights etc which uh, are are not naturally acceptable to me hence i learned to distinguish the nine distinct feelings and experimentally sorry experientially validate them uh, through own life events as well as the events of from the others life now harmony is getting established in all the activities and uh, through self through further self explorations complete harmony can be established so uh, thank you very much for the for all the uh, speakers yesterday for this insight and uh, this is my uh, feedback of yesterday's session thank you for the opportunity ji ji sunil ji so for uh, nice it's uh, where the part c of the assignment is concerned uh, we could see that uh, uh, it's been nicely taken by you you in your understanding very nice so uh, like with respect to the section a of the assignment uh, how would you feel for yourself i mean uh, we ask the students and get their response that's fine uh, but within ourselves how do we feel how do you feel within yourself regarding the same would you like to yeah, reflect yeah. on any of sure, it sure sure thank you thank you for the question ji so like uh, many people are happy by seeing others on happy the kind of questions yeah this is true that many a times we can even uh, we also uh, would like to uh, become happy by making some others unhappy if we have a competition if we have a kind of a ill uh, feeling with regard to them but that is not actually happiness that is only sensation that i can uh, realize right now that is only a sensation and that sensation will not last long for sure continuous happiness cannot be ensured through such kind of activities so we have to improve our own competence for uh, uh, this kind of things so uh, and other questions also if someone you rely on believe uh, in breaks your uh, trust so we can that is not true in fact trust cannot be broken because trust is trust is established uh, between uh, each each and every person between uh, me and uh, the other person so i don't think that it is going to be broken but that is only a perspective of uh, somebody else but uh, we can if uh, something happens like that accidentally uh, then we can of course uh, improve the competence of ourselves first and then the try to improve or try helping improving the competence of the other person ji and i can just I... speak on this like that on the other persons also but uh, time is a, uh, there is a limit for time I, I <laughs> thank you nice so the feeling which is within me is uh, something that uh, is not affected by the outside world and anybody else that's nice uh, thank you ji uh, so let's listen to some more of our uh, uh, participants as 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 a co explorer each one of us are uh, into a lot of self exploration so while doing the assignment so many so many uh, points come to our awareness and uh, and we would like to share it and discuss it uh, over here as well it will be wonderful if you could listen to some more of our uh, participants a morning time for self reflection and uh, nice pavai ji ji namaste good morning pavai ji good morning good morning how are you fine how are you yeah, doing good doing nice. good and um, actually uh, we are doing this many times right and whenever we are doing uh a new perspective of that uh, i could uh, get particularly for that uh, the desires and uh, 
the feelings associated with every uh, desire so uh, i could see um, for what i am uh, desiring for uh, this particular uh, thing so that gives some uh, insight into whether my desire is uh, in line with uh, the right feelings or not and of course uh, the part c finding out the feeling in the imagination as we are um, doing that uh, exercise in the morning session this comes uh, quite easily for me so um, i could see the imagination and uh, i could check whether it is uh, naturally acceptable uh, to me or not and uh, to my surprise um, nearly two three things are uh, not naturally acceptable to me <laughs> so at that time uh, that feeling uh, i could uh, when i am uh, thinking about that it uh, it it shows that that is not uh, naturally acceptable to me so i have to accept that uh, in my imagination certain things are coming which is acceptable sometimes which is not naturally acceptable to me also that observation i could uh, make that's fine and and if we are able to be aware of it yeah. and uh, then we can take a step to uh, you know uh, yeah. get into the right understanding to uh, uh, to clear that particular doubt as well isn't it yes, yes. it's important to be aware of our imagination yes. and we all are improving step by step mm. we all are Uh, evolving ourselves step by step yeah, that so is that, right word it's nice that you are able to uh, observe your imagination and and see wherever there is a knot and so that we can unfurl it nice very nice and what about the a part uh, a part uh, of course for all the questions i can uh, say and uh, for this otherwise evaluation i could say like uh, comparing a human being with uh, some other uh, thing he is a uh, uh, donkey he doesn't know anything so that uh, i can say as one example for otherwise evaluation or uh, treating the person as just the body um uh, we are uh, giving something uh, to drink or uh, eat but not considering his uh, self just the body just like that we are going and giving that i can say as the example for otherwise evaluation and of course uh, difference between affection and love uh, the feeling of relation with one or few people is affection with all everyone everything in the existence that is uh, love the ultimate uh, value and this excellence through competitions and this we can say excellence is uh, not that what we are uh, achieving something uh, performing uh, in the uh, materialistic world excellence is something uh, that is uh, understanding and living in harmony at all the four levels for uh, living in harmony this competition is not going to uh, contribute anything uh, right when we want to live in harmony um the competition is not going to uh, help us uh, so in that way if we see the actual meaning of excellence uh, we can understand uh, competition is not going to help you and uh, uh, to the previous uh, questions also uh, if someone you rely on or believe breaks your trust here um the trust is in myself okay the feeling of me is trust so if the other uh, is breaking uh, my expectations also um it hurts but uh, uh, slowly we can make it uh, like uh, trust is my feeling i have to ensure trust in me so with that trust and with that relationship in me if i am behaving with the other slowly from the other side there we can expect some uh, changes so once uh, the other person is also in relationship then we can have a discussion like uh, um, what happened for that incidents we can uh, um, uh, we can uh, discuss with them in a open uh, mind and uh, we are differentiating and uh, boss and uh, sweeper see nice. whether he is a boss or a sweeper uh, he is a human being basically so every human being uh, is similar he is similar to me 
so whether he is a boss or a sweeper uh, the basic thing is he is a human being with that uh, thing we can uh, approach nice it's, nice pavidi yeah very nice uh, it's good to see that uh, you are also able to see that the trust is a feeling within me yeah. and and when i look at the other and find lack of competence there mm. and uh, if the feeling of relationship is there i'm able to do the hand holding and mm. that's nice very nice thank you <laughs> nice reflection the uh, you're working quite hard on uh, i mean working in the right direction with a lot of uh, nice uh, feeling good yes, yes. Uh, thank you sunita ji professor sunita chand ji good morning madam am i audible good morning perfectly audible ma'am yeah uh actually i have been gaining a lot from these uhb programs and the last 3 days they have been uh, very much enlightening so actually regarding the assignment uh, which was given yesterday uh, i had a slight doubt in that otherwise evaluation uh, so as per my thought i have written that uh, um we know when we over evaluate or under evaluate a person that is very easily understood uh, this otherwise evaluation i have just given one example that sometimes what happens maybe um, in our class uh, some student may be um, having some gift maybe that student may be a very good singer or say a very good artist uh, but he may be mediocre in studies so we don't evaluate the student according to his or her potential according to his gift but we evaluate it uh, evaluate the person according to his academics and we think that he is just a mediocre person so have i done it correctly that i wanted to ask <laughs> well uh, let's let's look at everything within myself okay so uh, Uh, with respect to uh, uh, the otherwise evaluation uh, well when we look at the human being we equated to body or or not looking at the self of the person apart from that often it happens even in the class you know i like pavel didi was saying that uh, we refer to the students with some some name other than the human uh, uh, like some by comparing it with some animal so that's not the way uh, i mean that's not the right evaluation so yes. that's something like an otherwise evaluation <laughs> so let's keep on uh, uh, doing a bit more of self exploration yes ji and another question was there madam that if someone you rely on or believe in breaks your trust how can we keep trusting them continuously so i think that trust is never broken Uh, it is our belief which is broken actually so uh, we should uh, continue uh, trusting uh, or having that un- unconditional and continuous trust uh, in ourselves and we should try to improve the competence level of the other person as well as our own competence level so that we can understand the other person better and the other person will be also able to improve his or her competence so uh, like if you are able to see that the trust the feeling of trust is within you yes. okay yes. if i am able to uh, see the feeling of trust within within myself yes then i am able to and i am able to look at the other with the feeling of being uh, lacking in competence then yes. i am able to uh, but the trust in myself right yes. so let's talk of myself first and uh, what is the feeling within myself mm-hmm. right what and first i should work on myself myself <laughs> nice <laughs> nice anita the anything else you would like to share or we'll listen to rupali didi no madam thank you very much for Jeez, giving nice nice anita ji very nice to listen to so many of our participants in the morning so let's uh, listen to uh, rupali ji namaste namaste didi uh, good morning uh, everyone yeah didi i just want to reflect on question 3 and 4 uh, 
from us. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So uh, when we say, uh, you are saying don't differentiate. So uh, I will uh, just say that, uh, it, do I like to get differentiated? Somebody says that, no, you are black, you, are, you know, you're not good or something like that. So if I don't like to get differentiated, then that is what is my natural acceptance. And that natural acceptance is for everyone that nobody likes to get differentiated. So that is how, you know, uh, a boss or a sweeper, self is same for everyone. Uh, natural acceptance is same for everyone. So irrespective of uh, whether boss or sweeper, we should be uh, giving respect to the self. Uh, that is what uh, I think I will answer. Is that right, Didi? Nice, nice, Didi. And yeah. this is how we look at, when we look at all. Yeah. And, and, uh, G, and the other uh, question number four, please give some examples of otherwise evaluation. So when we call somebody, you know, when I call somebody, you are a dog or you are a monster or you are like a terrorist or something like that. Now, what happens in this process? I'm not only disrespecting the person whom I'm calling dog or so, I'm disrespecting monster, terrorist and dog as well by, you know, uh, thinking that they are not good. I mean, uh, something like that. Dogs are also good. The monsters also have the uh, same natural acceptance as me. So, you know, in this process, we are disrespecting both of them. Uh, with whom we are comparing and uh, the person whom we are comparing. So uh, we shouldn't be doing uh, otherwise evaluation. It is a complete disrespect. That is what I Nice. That's nice, Rupali ji. Rupali ji, one, nice to hear your takeaways and yeah. how you looked at the assignment. Nice. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. So uh, let's hear Sandhya ji, Dr. Sandhya. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Uh, Namaste. Thank you for giving me opportunity. Did the assignment uh, B part, uh, it was yes. asked about our uh, desires. So first day I had written some nine, ten desire what came in my mind. And uh, the one which, which I had written is preparing for FDP mentally and physically. So when I uh, looked at it uh, while solving the assignment B, what was the desire uh, behind it? So when I actually uh, thought or given a thought about it, basically uh, expectation was doing well in the uh, FDP uh, like a normal person. When I given a thought, why do I do want to uh, do well in that? So the feelings which I could see in myself was gratitude and reverence. So why gratitude? I would say uh, when I'm thinking, I always feel the speakers who of UHV, the, they, the, the way they speak, it is so promising. It feels so nice that uh, one day I also want to have a understanding of content of UHV to that level. Uh, so it is a feeling of uh, gratitude towards my uh, teachers, I would say, or uh, Bhaiya and Didi who are, are taking this session and a uh, reverence I felt because I believe that uh, those who are, are going to give me this content uh, are really good at their part because I have, uh, by listening to morning sessions with uh, with respect to Umesh sir, the way he has handled the students and all, I looked up upon them that one day I should be also doing this. So that will be the actual fulfillment of UHV uh, which I feel I should start from a self and then towards the society. Uh, my uh, my uh, uh, bit doubt about it, can I have two feelings connected to uh, one desire? Is it okay? Or I, no, I have not rightly evaluated it? Uh, well, feelings, Didi, all the feelings are within you. Huh? Okay. Uh, then, uh, then, you know, uh, like uh, uh, you can have the nine feelings, the definite feelings, the nine definite feelings is within each one of us. So within each one of each one of the human being, and that is something uh, which uh, one may look into oneself and irrespective of whether it is for a person, for a, for a, a system, or for the whole uh, setup, uh, and that's that's nothing to be uh, really worried about. Or you can look into it with more uh, deeper uh, self exploration. Uh, yet, uh, uh, 
like each one of the volunteers and everyone present here is is uh, participating in the larger order just like you are participating in teaching your students and your uh, um, you know uh, the younger ones mm -hmm. but all those who are helping us uh, in developing our uh, understanding we can have a feeling of gratitude towards them yes so uh, the uh, both the feelings uh, which i could correlate uh, can be right right so i'm thinking in right direction i can i uh, yes you're doing good self exploration didi oh okay thank you didi anything else you'd like to share shashikant no, i just had that doubt can we have two feelings together so thank you for Jee. clearing thank Jee. you didi ji uh, uh hello ji shashikant bhai yeah. uh uh there were uh, some attempts made by me for the question number 3 and 4 and through all the literature that i have searched for particularly in relevance to the um, uh otherwise evaluation i i got the example of the uh, comparison of the uh, maybe ch child with a donkey and on the similar lines i said that if uh, uh, on a very excited mood somebody may be comparing comparing someone uh, with the god or someone will be comparing someone with a superman so whether these comparisons are also examples of the otherwise evaluation <laughs> are you asking me or you telling me bhaiya <laughs> yeah of course i i want to just come <laughs> nice to, nice uh, bhaiya so yeah. anything that we can see uh, uh, that is uh, comparing with something other than the human perfect perfect and <laughs> one more doubt regarding the question number 4 was there uh, sorry number 3 was there you are saying don't differentiate how can you behave here be the same for all uh, like with my boss and sweep, uh, sweeper now i i personally felt that if someone uh, someone just to praise uh, someone differentiates the boss that you are boss and he is just a subordinate Uh, and even though it uh, pleases the boss uh, and doesn't cause unrest it should not be continued this is what is my perception because in the example uh, in majority of the cases it is said that don't differentiate because that will cause unrest and the people will go in the opposition and if the people go in opposition the whole uh, system of what we were talking about harmony and um, happiness will collapse but on the other side if i am just over evaluating the person and asking him that uh, you are too good as compared to someone because your post is higher than him uh, this this need to be stopped uh, am i right uh, well bhaiya you are understanding it fine as as a human being when we look at the various aspects of human being we can clearly see it for ourselves जी शशिकांत भैया जी 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 एब्सोल्युटली राइट आई कैन सी दैट जी नाइस भैया नाइस थैंक यू थैंक यू भैया गीता दीदी वी कैन हैव अ क्विक वन फ्रॉम यू दीदी बिफोर वी जस्ट स्टार्ट आवर मॉर्निंग क्विज जी दीदी नमस्ते दीदी इट इज लेंथी दीदी मे बी आफ्टर द क्विज व्हेन टाइम परमिट्स वी कैन डिस्कस दीदी येट वी हैव दिस अबाउट डिजायर्स ओके इट नीड्स टाइम दीदी ji ji thank you so anything that you would like to put in brief okay fine didi we'll take it after the quiz <laughs>